Hello everyone. I was going to just um, work on my concertina a little bit today and I thought I would uh, record this and show you how what my approach is to that. Um, this is the other side of the one that I recently did a um, flip through. So you can find that on YouTube. And this side, what happens with these pages, I'm finding, I started the beginning and I just keep kind of working along and there's something all the way through, but these pages are just hardly even started back here. They've just got some initial marks on them. Um, these have had more washes and I learned, I'm always learning as I go along, I got really wet with the drips and I had a hard time keeping it off of the other side, which was pretty much done. So while I'm not being too precious about all of this, I kind of want to um, just bear that in mind a little bit as I'm working through and not get so messy on this side that I ruin what I've done on the other side. Because I don't know about you, but going back and fixing things is not fun, I don't think. So I'm just trying to get a few things out of the way so I can stretch this concertina out a little bit. I had been thinking that this initial page, as I go through them, I look at them pages at a time, and this one is a short, you know, it's just a single page. So I was thinking that that one was done, but I got to looking at it and, oh goodness, what did I do with that little piece of paper? I think maybe it needs a little bit of white. So somewhere around here, I have a piece of paper. Ah, hold on, I'm gonna have to pause the video and find it. Okay, I can't find it, but I have another piece. Um, I did some, a bunch of um, round pages out of index cards. Um, this, this is an acid-free index card, and I kind of, I used one on the other side and I like them, so I'm trying to think of, I thought that was sort of interesting, but I don't think I want it to cover up quite that much. I I had torn it, but I'm liking this, the hard edges now. They echo the hard edge of this yellow here, but maybe not quite that far down. Let's see what happens if I... Just cut a bit of it off. And I don't know exactly, you know, when you put a circle around something, it certainly does draw your eye to it. And I think my focal point right now is sort of at war between this dark and this yellow. And I think I'm, I'm interested in the yellow, but it's kind of unfortunate that it's so close to the center of the page. Thinking, you know, I was thinking maybe I could push it up, push the focal point up a little bit with using this, but... Well, that's sort of interesting. Let's see. And at some point, oh, that's kind of cool too. At some point, you just sort of have to give up fooling around or you could stand here all day, or at least I could. I could stand here all day. Oh, that's interesting too, the way it echoes that. Hmm, okay. I'm not quite sure on this one, so I think what I'm gonna do Take a little piece of paper, tape and so I don't lose this one like I lost the other one. I'm just going to make a little curl and I'm just going to tape this to this page in one of the possible orientations and then I can look at it periodically as I flip back and forth through this and see what I think. And I can move it too. Okay, so the next page here is this one, and I, it continues on from this because of this page, this piece that goes over, and the drips and things like that. So they they look decent together. Um, this doesn't have as much purple as that does. Certainly, I'm not sure if that's a problem or not. Got a little bit of a paler purple down in here. I kind of like that. I felt like this one was getting close, but might need some black. And I've been experimenting with some, this is a thicker tissue paper, it's a wet strength tissue paper that you can only get in the UK and sometimes you have to buy a ton of it if you buy it here from Amazon. 
but it's strong enough to paint on and at the same time goes, I believe, translucent, but not transparent. So I'm thinking about, and I could easily just make marks directly on this page too, but I can see what I've got here. Whereas, you know, I, I have a tendency to be freer, I think, if I do this this way now. And I'm curious, I don't know if I want to experiment with that there or not. So what if I just took a paintbrush and did something similar to that there? I have here some um, black paint that is diluted with airbrush medium. I use airbrush medium instead of water because um, water, if you dilute, dilute paint too much with water, it won't adhere to um, an acrylic surface, whereas if you use airbrush medium, which has the same consistency or same viscosity as uh, water, you will uh, not have problems with it adhering. So let's see what happens. I'm gonna just be brave. And I think what I might do is let that kind of continue on into this side a bit as well. And let's just look at that a little bit just as one page. That helped quite a bit. I notice I'm intrigued by this eye right here. I almost wish I had another one somewhere else. Maybe I'll see if I can find another one of those. A, um, a purchase tissue paper. I don't have the eye, but maybe... Should we use a... This woman right here, maybe. I think I'll give that a try. So I've been using um, gloss medium quite a bit more than matte these days. I took a workshop and Karen Stamper pointed out, and she is certainly correct that when you um, fix a page, particularly with gloss medium, it makes it extremely simple to um, white paint off of the surface once it's dry. Seal your page with, and that's kind of cool, it repeats a similar sort of effect as that. I'm leave that alone for now. So once your pages are shiny, like these are, move on to the next page. If I put paint on this and decided I didn't like it, I can just wipe it off. It works out very nicely. So I'm trying to bear in mind that that is still wet and my lights are turned kind of funny so I don't get glare on the page for you or hopefully not as much anyway. This page here also feels kind of good to me. I think my focal point is, I don't know, it's not resolved yet. It's not resolved yet. So what could I do to it next? Maybe some of this, um, Uh, phthalo turquoise, but thicker. And I should have my gloves on. I try to remember and I forget to put them on, but I don't like getting a lot of paint on my hands because I just get allergic to all sorts of things. And I try and stay away from chemicals whenever I can. Still got that there, looking at that as well. when I brought this over here, this area right here is competing with this area right here for um, 
dominance. So I think I want to knock this back a little bit. Let's see. And I think the possibility of breaking uh, that black line up, maybe darkening the area more all the way around might help with that. To connect this to that and one page one side of the page to the other side of the page back in here a little bit as well. Oh, there we go. And then I can kind of repeat these stripes up here in a different way. Let's do that with a different brush. Do it over there, maybe doing it over here would be good too. Repetition is always interesting. I don't think I'm there yet, but I think that's interesting. Let's see. I was some soft yellow again, I think, and I was using primarily Keep moving my little piece of palette paper around. Uh, Indian yellow. plastic over these jars because the paint gets on the rims and dries and then it's nearly impossible to get the cover back off again. Now what I did to make this mustard yellow was to add just a tiny bit of Van Dyke Brown. So let's see what I get. I like what's happening up there. Maybe just
Oops. I got into those stripes. I was thinking then about. Yeah, let's use something right here. What if we continued kind of scraping us here? them kind of and then I'll show you what I mean about this uh, paper that has been treated with the gloss medium Take a oops, paper towel, dampen it a little bit, and let's see if I can clean this up. Now this is uh, this phthalo blue is a heavy stainer, so if this was not treated with. gloss medium, I would not be able to do that. And I think I will get my lines back. Still up, I still have some of that paint left. How about that? All right, I don't know if it's there yet. I think it could probably use white now again, but I think that that's good for now. I'm gonna leave it alone and come back to it. That's what works best for me is to keep on moving with these things. And then remember that that is wet. <laughs> Backside of my concertina, not my own backside. Let's see. So after that, it's this page right here. And this page is got some interesting stuff going on, but it's also got some not so interesting stuff going on. So let's see. Honestly, no idea at this point. Oh, look, that's almost the same color as that paper. That's kind of interesting. That helps embed that into the page a bit. Here. That's probably out of frame for you. I pulled this across too far, I think, so I'm going to just try and wipe some of that off at least somewhat. So we 
distress it a little. That's kind of nice. Maybe I'll do that here as well. No, that did not. That was not what that needed. That needs calm. Enjoy the um, darker turquoise that I used back here. Maybe some more of that might be nice. I could always lighten it some too. Squirt a little bit of that out. some medium into it and make it a little bit thinner and more viscous. Start there and see what happens. Squares seem to be a thing for me lately, squares and rectangles. It's just kind of what keeps on coming up. I like the combination of more and less transparent in here. Maybe what might be interesting to um, contrast with the rectangles would be circle. Oops. <laughs> well, that's sort of interesting. I just wish I had moved that over here a little bit more so maybe let's do again a little bit differently but maybe not all the way through that time that's kind of interesting too and then maybe about that was the calmness too so let's get that back oops well that's not gonna work guess I need a new bucket of water and that one's just as dirty as the first one Two different colors going on there. 
But again, just trying to not be too precious about it. It's interesting. I think what I need is some line work on that. There's a couple of different ways to go about doing that. I think right now what I want is a nice, yummy, thick, luscious line. Let me dump that back in the water so it doesn't get too... And I might carry it back into this previous page, so let's see. That has those lines. And we're working on these two pages here, really. So what would happen, I like the cursive look there. If we did something sort of, this is um, again, the paint thinned with airbrush medium. I'm sure that it's not plugged up. It is, sugar. All right, I'm gonna pause the video again and see if I can clear this. Okay, I think I've got it cleared. So what would happen? So I'm gonna do something similar to kind of handwriting-ish, but maybe not quite. I'm having trouble with my, ah, there must be a gunk, bit of gunk inside of the, used a pen before this usually or a pin this doesn't usually happen I've had these for quite a while and this has not happened um, maybe I didn't might not have been like sitting completely upright or something so that I don't know but if it's cleared it should be clear let's see there we go This is going to take forever to dry because it's going on there thick. So that's going to have to be it for this for today. I'm trying to decide. I've got that and that. I, want, I think maybe just a little bit more of that over here. Just kind of. <laughs> Not again. I'm just not getting it squished all the way down there or something. Oh, look at what's happened. Okay, see that one last thing that you want to do just goofs everything up. Well, that's sort of cool with the distressed bit there, though. Let's see, I can probably get a little bit more of that. That might be better than a mark. Okay, I'm going to stop here for now with this and let that part dry so I don't goof it up. Uh, let it be spontaneous. It's got some wonky things that I feel myself wanting to fix, and so I'm going to leave it and not do that. And I hope that you enjoyed this. Let me know in the comments. Um, feel free to like and follow my channel so that you will get uh, notified when I post new videos. Talk to you soon.